This is my hallway bench. I've had it for a few years. There is some wear and tear accumulated over the years and it does not match the decor anymore. It's such a convenient addition and this is where I put on my shoes or where I just throw my handbag when I walk in. I've decided to reupholster with gray velvet in a tufted style and I'll paint the legs Orion gray. Let's begin. Here are the tools that you'll need to reupholster your bench into a tufted style. Upholstery needle, staple gun or stapler, pliers, staple remover or a flat tool to remove the existing staples, scissors, paintbrush and or roller, a drill to create the holes, button covered refill and the kit, craft spray glue, drapery thread, sand and paper, paint, sponge, batting, plastic to cover your floors, a screwdriver, a ruler, pencil or pen, and the upholstery material, and I'm using velvet. First things first, I always put plastic down to protect my carpet. I started off by removing the dust protector from the bottom of the bench. And here I am removing the Velcro strips that are held down by staples. I removed all the staples from the bottom of the bench. Took out the screws from the legs in order to loosen the corners so I could get the covering off. The sponge was in really good condition, so there was nothing I needed to do to it. It's always important you wear a mask when sanding. I did not have a mask, so I had to opt for my kerchief. I used a 120 grit sanding paper to rough the surface and a 320 to smooth it. To prepare for painting, always wipe your surface with a clean cloth. To create buttons, I bought the button cover refill and the kit. At the back, it actually gives you the sizes of the circles that you can cut out. And it also gives you instructions on how you put the button together. I first started off by cutting out the pattern at the back of the kit and then using that as a template on the velvet material. I first put down the clear cap, then the velvet material or whatever material you're using 
and the top of the button. Squeeze that in to the clear cap. Neatly tuck the excess material. Then apply the back part of the button and then the blue cap. At this point I have to apply pressure so I took my button down to the floor and used my primer can for some pressure and voila we have a button. For extra plushness, I added a layer of sponge and secured it with some glue. To create pockets for the buttons, I measured starting from the middle outwards, marked with pencil and then drilled a hole. Once I finished drilling the holes, I laid down batting and the velvet material. Batting creates a barrier so that the buttons don't create a bigger hole in the sponge. Here I'm using the 10 inch upholstery needle and upholstery thread to create the tufted look. I first started off by threading the needle, inserting the needle into the hole Once I was able to get the thread through the hole, I inserted the needle again into the same hole, slid the button onto the thread, and threaded the needle again. Once I was able to get the upholstery thread through the bench, I flipped it over and secured the thread with staples. I repeated this process until all the buttons were secure. When doing a tufted bench, always work from the center outward. Adjust your fabric as you go along so it sits neatly on the bench. As you adjust the fabric, you want to keep all your folds in one direction.
cut any excess fabric. Again, when doing a tufted bench, always work from the center outward. So when stapling the material, staple from the center outward. I tucked the corners in and secured the legs with the screws. I restapled the Velcro material back onto the bench. And then replaced the dust protector onto the Velcro. Here is the finished product. I am in love with this bench. The additional layer of sponge gave extra plushness. The velvet gray is so sophisticated, yet has a warm and cozy feel. All the details on how to reupholster your own bench can be found below. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.